What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Dang It Open V3 Killing Harmony, in which the last episode we had some shenanigans. Um, it seems like my prediction is mostly correct, but we're going to figure out how we got there, what we're going to do to arrive to that. However, I'm hoping that maybe my prediction is wrong, but we'll find out. We got to save first, though. Um, and have our classic Monokuma introduction, or inter, not introduction, her, his, uh, like, intervening for no, like, real apparent reason. Uh, Mon it's gonna be Monokuma Theater, too. It's not gonna be Monokuma in the Cubs Theater anymore, I guess. Well, now. Or it's still gonna be Monokuma in the Cubs Theater. And then the Monokuma in the Cubs Theater segments begins! With all the Monokums destroyed, this segment was no longer possible! And so, the curtain quickly fell. Oh, shit. That, that, I'm, cool, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. That's fine with me. I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. I don't mind jumping straight into this. The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game, and the battle between hope and despair, would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You were naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. Nihihi! <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died, and find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I, I don't understand anything you're saying. Anyway, why are you starting up the killing game when it should have ended? You 
already know it's all meaningless and that I'm the mastermind. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. But then... Protected Kokichi? Whoa. Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike Nine poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that. You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing, but because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But... Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry... ...but I... ...can't die here. Since I'm... ...the mastermind of this killing game! Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh... ...you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. D damn it! S stop! Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not, because now another class trial is going to start. Last trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials! Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi... I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww... Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse, huh? Maki is gonna become the blackened responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! Don't you worry, Makiro. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy, even like that. You really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run. And live. You gotta live. But 
I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. In exchange for all of your lives. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You... Fucking asshole! Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me. But if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. This is... Koki, you drinking the antidote? No. Uh. I knew I was gonna die! I could not not die. We, we knew me. Um, dying is just an inherent part of my class trials at this point. <laughs> like, let's be 100%. Wow, I really uh, mucked that one up. That's it. Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Oh yeah, the alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find that hidden truth.
I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you had approached the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100 points. That's wrong! There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective for Kokichi using the electro bomb was... to disable the safety function. That's it! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The Electra Bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. But if I'm right, it means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? No. Okay. These multiple choices are actually getting me right now. I don't know. I don't usually they don't. Um the cause of Kaido's death. That's it. Yeah, okay. Kaito's cause of death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yes. The cause of death now could be... This is it! Which is funny, because that was my initial cause of the death with the, uh, the electro the hammer. could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? Is it really possible to determine Kaido's actual cause of death? Was Kaido's death or cause of death the poison arrow or the hydraulic press? Is it possible to tell? It's possible. No. Wow. Okay, we are going. To, we're taking a dark turn. Okay. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. 
What did you say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know, because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition! Intuition? <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! Uh. I I have a sneaky suspicion they wouldn't be able to kill Kokichi. Hey, that's my line. I'm the one who decides when it's voting time. Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Huh? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Oh, Lord. I fucked up. 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 The, uh, the culprit, you say? Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course I know. Oh, I fucked up. Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? I'm gonna get a bad ending. Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case. Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? But what's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras, strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means, it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosomes. Yes, the Exosomes weren't protecting Monokuma. They were. Watching him. That's it! They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? 
Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only just observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. Yeah, that's true. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. Yep. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So, you share it instead. That way it'll be a fair for all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so, to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monoku? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. That's right. He's a remnant of despair. How'd we forget that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems, because I've got to run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us. Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? Uh -huh. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. What? Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all this lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? 
His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Damn, girl! Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the Exosols and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely <laughs> out of spite. <laughs> Hashtag the spite is right. Anyway, moving on. Spite towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Were we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yeah! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know! But I wanna know! The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Juko Anishima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who's planning this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah, get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases, but you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain, too. This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma! Whoa! You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true game. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected. Your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner! Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. 
But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. Monokuma, ultimate despair headmaster. Who invited you? Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. <laughs> now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. True. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. Ooh. So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes se more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. No. I was wrong. No. Ah. I was wrong. This is it. Oh, we're going back to the video. Okay. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Right. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. <laughs> huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kogichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video. It must have been something to do with you trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, or, yeah, taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? <laughs> Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? What? Huh? Where would he even get another body? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? 
And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Right, but you can still put the body there beforehand. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey. Shuichi, I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victims switch places? If Kaito is... alive or not? Maki... I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then, let's talk about the possibility that Maki will <laughs> mention. Himiko! If you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all tug it over together. Oh, only, oh don't worry, Samugi. Only Gokichi's not allowed to use the Maki roll. It seems. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try and do everything yourself. It's gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Kokichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. Fair. <laughs> A trick to that video. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? some trick to that video that's what you all gotta figure out there is no trick you can check but there's no editing function in that camera did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you the filming angle seemed unnatural don't you think the person in that video was it really kaito something seemed off about that video to me when the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment Oh, no. Bad dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no! There must be some trick to that video. Which is your best There is no trick. You can check if there's no editing function in that camera. Do the person the camera think it's suspicious in that video? Look at natural, don't you think? When the hydraulic press stopped. Oh my gosh, I hit the thing twice! Press stopped for a bit. No, okay, I'm still wrong. Press Okay, I knew what I needed to agree with at least. That helped. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... Yes, that's right! The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. 
but in a video. The hydraulic press stopped briefly, right before it crushed the body? But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one thing I can think of. Because it sensed the hit uh, an actual body. 